Hi, today we're going to move into the next category of effects commands on the Dirty Wave M8 and those are the ones for the mixer and effects. We've done the uh, sequencer effects commands so we're in the, the middle group now of these and a lot of these are you know similar so it shouldn't take too long to get through most of these. One thing I wanted to say is don't get to use your ears to get the effect you want, the sound you want. Don't get too bogged down with all this techie stuff because sometimes it can get in the way and just all you need is to use your ears and not worry about what's actually on the screen in front of you. I'm going to deal with these as they crop up left to right, up and down in this list. So our first one is VMV, which is the main volume. We can set the main song volume from within a phrase and this changes the value located in the mixer view. I've got this song loaded in. If I set this going, It's pretty quiet because I've set a value of 90 on this VMV. So if I bring this up, now listen, quite a bit louder. And I could have something lower down here and run that. You can hear the volume dropping down there, can't you? What we'll do is we'll set something up here to really show this off. So what I've got here is that volume of 90 and a repeat command and you'll hear the volume gradually increase. As the phrase progresses and this is changing this output volume. And you can see that the mix volume control over on the right there is increasing. Okay, so that's our first effect command, VMV. Going to move into the next set of commands, which are all about the chorus, delay and reverb. So I've set three up here, XCM, XCF and XCW. Right, XCM is the modulation depth. For this to work, you've got to have the chorus turned up on the instrument page. So I have here, I've got it on FF. If I run it, we can't hear any chorus because I've got this set at naught. So if I bring this up, we can kind of hear it, but we need to set the rate, which is the frequency XEF, up a bit. Too much. So use your ears, you see? This does the usual thing, goes to FF, which way too much up there isn't it that sounds quite nice to my ears and XCW over here is the width the stereo width I'll bring this up it should get wider in the speakers if you're listening on headphones so that's pretty good let's change this to XCR. Now this is the amount of chorus that's sent to the reverb. Now we're going to have to turn the reverb up on the instrument page for this to work. So we'll bring this up. So we've got some reverb. Let's go back to our phrase page. So XCR is the amount of chorus sent to the reverb. So it's on naught at the moment. Let's bring this up and you'll hear the chorus going into the reverb. should be able to hear that the chorus is being sent into the reverb so the chorus has got reverb on it if you like. So that's the chorus. We're going to move on to delay now. So I've got three effects commands set up here on this piano riff. I've got XDT which is the time of the delay, XDF which is the feedback and XDW which is the width. We need to make sure that on the instrument page that the delay is turned up, which it is, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll just turn the chorus down, so we don't really want that at the moment, we'll bring it down to naught. We'll just run this. Okay, got a bit of reverb, that's fine. Let's turn the time up of the delay. Now, this is an XY setting, so the digit on the left deals with the amount of delay time on the left speaker and the digit on the right 
is the delay time for the right speaker. So we probably want to have these both the same. Let's set them both to 44. So you hold edit and up for the left digit and edit and right for the right digit. Now let's run it. I'm just stopping and starting it there so you can hear what's going on. Let's bring the feedback up, which is the amount of repeats. Let's bring that up to 44 as well. So that's an X, X setting. It's the same for the left and the right. Let's come over to the width and make this nice and wide in the stereo. Let's bring it up to uh, FF. So if you use headphones, you'll hear that really wide, really spread out across the stereo spectrum. Let's swap this one out for the next one, XDR, which is where we send the delay signal into the reverb. That's full on at the moment. This is going to be too much, I think. We'll uh, change that. Try Now you can hear that the delay signal is being reverbed now. It's got reverb on it. Bring up a bit more. So that's all of the delay settings. We have the time, we have the feedback, we have the width, and we have the amount of delay that we send to the reverb. Let's go on to the reverb effects now. Right, I've set three up here, XRS, XRD, XRM. The R stands for reverb. So the first one is the room size. Let's see if we've got the reverb turned up. Yes, we have, so that's good. Now I've set the room size pretty high, but the decay is low. So if we bring that up, stop it, we hear the amount of decay. Bring up a bit more. XRM is a kind of a chorus built into the reverb. If I set this going, bring this up a little bit, you don't want a lot of this. Probably around there is enough, isn't it? Now this is the modulation, okay, the depth, if you like, of the modulation, and we can change that for the frequency. Turn this up a bit. That's the kind of rate, if you like. Again, you have to experiment with these things to, to get the sound you want. And we could swap that out for the width, which is the next one. XRW, this is the width of the reverb in the stereo spectrum. Bring that decay time up a bit. Zero that out. We'll set this width at naught and then I'll change it to full on. So that's no width, now we'll go full on. And you have to experiment with all these things to see what you want, see what's good for you. And a lot of these settings are very extreme and probably too extreme for most people's taste. So those are the three main effects, chorus, delay and reverb, but controlled within the phrase with these effects commands. Now XRZ is the freeze control of the reverb. What this does, it freezes the reverb trail, if you like, it's the bit that comes after the reverb, uh, and you need a higher decay setting on this. 
So if we come over here and just go to the decay and set this fairly high. Now listen. So that's what the decay is really doing. But if I put this back in, you get that effect in the background. It's freezing that reverb trail. It's like an ambient wash. So that's without the freeze. Now freeze it. You've got that, but in the background, see? So you're hearing the notes, and you've got that very big reverb signal, but frozen and in the background. So that's one you have to experiment with, but it's a, a very interesting effect, isn't it? On this effect settings page we have more detailed information about the three effects and of course what we do on those phrases with those effects commands are going to change these things you can see the modulation depth and frequency 40 and 80 respectively the stereo width the amount of chorus sent to the reverb and then here's the delay you've got uh, a filter on this page don't think you can change that on the effects commands but you can change the time left and right you can change the feedback and the width and the amount of delay sent to the uh, reverb. With the reverb, you've got the high pass and low pass filter. Again, I don't think you can change that on the phrase. You've got the room size, the decay, the modulation depth and frequency and the width. And these will all change as you change those controls on that phrase page with these effects commands. So XC is chorus, XD is delay, and XR is reverb. You've got those various parameters within those. You've got modulation depth, modulation frequency, the width of the stereo, the amount of chorus sent to the reverb. With the delay, you've got the delay time, the feedback, that's the amount of delays, the amount of echoes, if you like. You've got the stereo width of the delay. You've got the amount of delay sent to the reverb. And then with the reverb, you've got the room size. You've got the amount of decay on the reverb the modulation depth and frequency of the reverb, kind of a built-in chorus, and the stereo width of the reverb. So VCH, this is the chorus volume. So let's bring this up. Have to have it turned up here on the instrument page. If we bring this down, notice how this is down, but immediately you can hear it because this in the phrase page is overriding that. That high setting here on the volume of the chorus is overriding this. So although this is naught, it isn't naught because of this, you see? But you do have to have the chorus turned up here. See? That's got to be turned up. So various things you've got to be aware of here. It's not just one thing that does everything. That's the chorus. Let's zero that out. Let's bring the delay up. Fairly high. That's the phrase page. Let's change this to volume of the delay. And we'll zero that out. Let's look on the mixer page. So the delay is set to EO, which is quite high. Let's zero that out. I'll put that all the way down. Let's run the phrase. No delay. Now let's bring this up. It's coming up here. Yeah. Now, on the mixer page, you see that says naught, but it's quite high because that's overridden that. It's got to be turned up here on the instrument page takes a while to get it sorted out in your head. Let's zero that out. We'll bring the reverb up here, quite high. 
let's come to the mixer page and we'll bring that all the way down that reverb control up to the phrase page and we'll change this and we'll zero this out so there'll be no reverb bring this up now let's bring this reverb control up quite a bit so there's our reverb but on the mixer page it says it naught we can see how high it is on the levels there so it's overridden that and it's got to be turned up on the instrument page so they are more basic controls, those three, aren't they? VCH, VDE, VRE. The next effects command I want to show you is the basic volume control. So if we go to VT1, now this is track one, so it's going to deal with this particular track. So VT1 is set at DO. Let's zero that out. Run the track, nothing. Bring it up. And that's a basic volume control there. So we could have different volume controls. So down here we could have a lower volume control. This is per track, don't forget. Too much. Hear the volume dropping there. So this is a basic volume control for the actual track itself. And of course you could have that you know, on different phrases, on different tracks, changing the volume all over the place. Very useful. And you've got that per track. Right, let's bring up our next effects command. It's got to go through all these volume controls for the various tracks. DJF. Now, zero this out. So the way this works is 80 is off. Above 80, it's a high pass filter. And below 80, it's a low pass filter. So what I've done here, I've set this up so it starts with the high pass filter set pretty high and then it ends with the low pass filter set pretty low. So let's have a listen. The DJ filter is on this mixer page here. I've set the DJ filter full on here. Normally it's set at 80, that's its default. And if you want it to go to its default, press the option and edit button together. But if I set this full on, all the way up to FF, listen to what happens. It will have no effect because of what's here in the uh, phrase page See? so it overrides this DJ filter value on the mixer page so it's pretty useful isn't it pretty impressive so we've dealt with quite a few effects there I hope you found this interesting if you got some value out of it please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you very much for watching and you'll see me in my next video Thank you.